Welcome to basic power system analysis using PSSC. In this lecture, we are going to demonstrate how to model the system for short circuit analysis. Now, if you can see, this is the same case which we have used for performing the load flow analysis. So we are going to take the same case and now update it in order to perform short circuit analysis as well. So for the short circuit analysis, the additional data we require for the power system as we discussed is the MVA capacity of the generators as well as its reactances. Similarly, for uh, transmission lines, we require the zero sequence components. Similarly, for the transformer, we require zero sequence component. For load, we do not require anything. So the basic data now we are going to input is the zero sequence and the negative sequence data. For generators, we require the negative sequence and the zero sequence data. Similarly, for the transmission lines and the transformer, we only require additional zero sequence data. So let us go ahead and prepare the case for the zero sequence. So this is the same case which we used for load flow analysis. Now I have added some additional information into the same data. If you look at this data, the additional information we have is number one. For the generators, now we have included the MVA capacity of the generator, also the reactance of the generator. Similarly, for the transmission line, we have included the zero sequence of the uh, transmission lines. For transformers, we haven't any added any additional data. It means that whatever is the reactance in the positive sequence, the same can be used in the zero sequence. But we are going to one thing, we are going to consider that these transformers are delta star grounded. Means they have star on their HV side and delta on their LV side. In other words, the vector group is Y and D for these transformers. So having this vector group means that they will not contribute to the zero sequence. But for the three phase, yes, they are going to contribute. For this transformer, we are going to consider star grounded, star grounded or either side so that we may get some contribution, but on the load side. So why do we have a star delta transformer, uh, especially on the load side? The reason is simple. We do not want that if something happens into our distribution network, it travels towards the transmission system. So for this reason, we use Y and D vector group on usually all the distribution transformers. So this is the data we have. Uh, one more thing about zero sequence data. If you, uh, since we are trying to calculate the worst case scenario, so what you can do is if you do not have zero sequence data of the transformer, you can consider 90% of the positive sequence. In case you consider 90% of the positive sequence, it means that your zero sequence short circuit level is going to increase a little bit more by 10%. Even if you do not use this, use this there is no problem. So let us go ahead and model this. We will start modeling the case from generator. Now in the case of generator, if you see here, the only additional information I have is the MVA capacity and the reactance. But it does not show that whether this uh, reactance is positive sequence reactance, negative sequence reactance or zero sequence reactance. So when you have such kind of data, what you can do is you can consider that for all the three cases, the data is same. So when modeling in PSSC, this case, I'm going to assume that my positive sequence impedance, my zero sequence impedance and my negative sequence impedance all are 20% on the machine base. So 20% can also be written as 0.2 per unit. So 0.2 per unit at 125 MVA base. But in reality, you are going to get this data from the manufacturer sheet. Let us give you an example here. If you see this, this is a typical uh, generator data sheet which you get from a manufacturer. If you see here, the saturated synchronous reactance or the transient reactance is given. Similarly, subtransient reactance, the transient reactance, the subtransient reactance, the negative sequence reactance and the zero sequence reactance. So all the data related to the generator which can be required is given in such a 
sheet. So if you have the actual data from the transformer, simply copy this data and put it in your uh, PSSC base case. But if you do not have the uh, data, then you can do what is uh, what I am doing. Simply we will go here. I double click here. Now for the resistance, the source re resistance, I do not know. So I will not put anything. The base MVA is 125. So I'm using 125 for reactance. 20% or 0.2 per unit. Similarly, in the short circuit, I have this positive sequence, z negative sequence and zero sequence. So in all the three cases, I'm going to use the value 0.2. And I'm going to press OK. Now my zero sequence data has been added for this case. Similarly, now I'm going to put the data, same data for the other generator. So 125 MVA, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and I press OK. There you go. For the transmission line, we will do the same thing. If I double click on my transmission line here, you see we have two tabs, one for the power flow and one for the short circuit. The power flow tab we already filled in the load flow analysis. Now for the short circuit analysis, I'm going to go ahead into this short circuit tab. If I go into this tab, you see it is requiring some data. It is requiring the zero sequence R, zero sequence X and zero sequence P. So using the same technique which we used in load flow analysis, now, instead of positive sequence data, I am here using zero sequence data, which we got from the case. So now, after putting this and calculating the total zero sequence for the entire case, I'm going to go and use these values in. So here is my zero sequence R. Then here is my zero sequence X and here is my zero sequence B. So I'm copying these values for the shunt reactor. We are not using any value. So that is why these values are zero. If you have those values, then you can use similar values here. And when I'm going to press OK, that's it. My zero sequence has been modeled. In the same way, you can model the zero sequence for all the transmission lines available here. For the transformer modeling, we need two important things. So if I open this transformer, let us start with this. If I double click on this and you see the load flow analysis, which we have already filled. Now I will go to the short circuit tab. If I go to the short circuit tab, this connection code. This connection uh, code means what is the vector group of the transformer. So first of all, we need to know the vector group of the transformer. And then here we can value PS. If you see here, PSSC has already taken the positive sequence value as the zero sequence value. So if you want to change this value, you can use 90% or whatever the actual value is you can use here. But if you do not have the actual value, you can go ahead and use the same value as a positive sequence value. But here it is important to give the uh, vector group. So for vector group, what we can do is I'll tell you something about vector group. Here, this is a typical sheet from PSSC program application manual guide volume one. So how you can find this? You simply go to the folder where you have installed PSSC. In this folder, you are going to find one folder known as docs. In the docs, there will be a folder known as or a file known as PAG V1 program application guide volume one. In program application guide volume one, there is a chapter on fault analysis. If you go in this chapter, you are going to find how PSSC takes each connection code. So as I said, if your vector group for the transformer is YN, YN means star grounded on both windings, then you can use connection code one. But you have, if you have delta on the uh, HV winding or the first winding and star grounded on the second winding, you can use this code, code number three. 
for Y and D11, which is our case for the load transformer, uh, uh, the connection code will be 2. As it says, HV side will be star grounded, whereas LV side will be delta. So, for the first transformer, I am going to use the connection code 2. Similarly, different codes are given based on your preference or the vector group you have, you can use any one of them. So, for me, the first is connection code 2. So, I am going to go here and for this transformer, use connection code 2. And when I press OK, I am done with the first transformer. Similarly, for this transformer, short circuit, the zero sequence value has already been taken up by PSSC. I will from here choose connection code 2. OK. Again here, short circuit analysis. Connection code 2. I am going to press OK. And I am done. For this, I am assuming that this is a star grounded transformer on both sides. So for this transformer, what I can do is I can check the code. The code for such a transformer is 1. So I'm going to go ahead and choose short circuit, impedance already taken, connection code 1 and press OK and that is all. This is how you prepare your data for the short circuit analysis. The three things are important. The important are the impedances of the generator. Imp zero sequence impedance, zero and negative sequence impedances of generator, zero sequence impedances of transmission line, connection code and zero sequence impedances of transformer. So once you have all this data modeled, you are all set to perform short circuit analysis.